Infection from this disease always leads to death, and there is no cure. Today's topic was produced due to high demand by our subscribers. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, be sure to write your suggestions below. Mad cow disease, or bovine spongiform encephalopathy, is a disease that affects a cow's nervous system by putting holes in its brain, causing it to become spongy and start wasting away. The disease can also affect other tissues throughout the cow's body as well as its blood, making it easily transferable to humans. When it's transmitted to humans, it's known as Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. The mad cow disease outbreak began in the United Kingdom, causing an international epidemic of the Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease. As you can see here from the dark green areas, humans were infected throughout the UK and mainland Europe as well as all of North America and some countries in the east. The light green areas show countries in which only the cows were infected without affecting any humans. Humans infected by mad cow disease meat begin experiencing symptoms of dementia, memory loss, and hallucinations, followed by speech impairment, jerky movements, and seizures. Post-mortem observations of victims' brains have shown tiny holes in areas where their nerve cells have died. Death is progressive and eventually happens in about six months. There is no cure. Some patients have been known to live for about four to five years after infection, although their symptoms progress as they get closer to inevitable death. Governments have taken measures to prevent transmission from cattle to humans by killing millions of high-risk cows in an attempt to get rid of the disease. Also, the USDA now requires certain cow parts to be removed from high-risk cattle that show any signs of neurological problems to prevent them from entering the US food supply. Now what do you think is worse and why? Being stung by a scorpion or being stung by a Brazilian wandering spider? <laughs>